Hey you guys, I hope you're doing well today. Glad you're here and glad you chose to hang out with me for a little while today. If you're new here, what's up? I'm Franny. I'm a flamboyant gamine in the Kibbe body typing system and right now I'm refining my knowledge in the Kibbe system by making videos about being a flamboyant gamine and how to style my body. If you're curious about that, definitely stick around and definitely subscribe because that really helps out my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about outfits for an office setting or like a more professional setting. Diving into a world I know nothing about because I work from home. So of course, just take this as inspiration and hopefully this will help you get some ideas about how to dress well for your body in a professional setting. Let's go ahead and take a look at these outfits and I'll talk to you about why they work for my body type. A lot of you guys ask how tall I am and I'm actually 5'5". Five five. Hopefully that helps you guys figure out <laughs> What's going on here? But yes, I'm the classic example of flamboyant gamine where you're not really short, you're not really tall, but you're also not like balanced or proportional at the same time. And so it can be a little confusing. Like sometimes I look short, sometimes I look tall. It kind of depends on the camera angle and everything. But if you were to meet me in real life, you'd quickly see that I am a string bean. I am very narrow and tiny, and um, I generally look like a teenager. So, doing my best to look like a grown ass woman these days, though, let me tell you. So, let's get into these outfits. <laughs> Outfit number one I recently got a vintage blazer from my friend's shop called Shop Good Folk. On Instagram, she is collecting vintage pieces under the profile shop Good Folk. So if you are curious about more pieces from her, definitely check it out. She's a friend of mine here in Nashville. So I'm wearing this blazer today, but obviously I want to talk about the base layer because I feel like the blazer is the connecting piece. The base layer underneath is a fitted turtleneck from Cotton in the color Camel, I believe. I think that it's just beautiful. It fits my body really well and I'm kind of realizing that my skin tone is actually pretty cool toned. And so because of this, I can wear a warmer tone and it feels really bright on my skin and it feels very bold on my skin. It doesn't really blend in. That's a way in the office to wear something that is bright because flamboyant gamines need animation they need something bold wearing something bold doesn't necessarily have to be like a bright neon color it could just be a color that is opposite of your natural coloring so if my natural coloring is cool a bold color on my skin would be in a warm range okay so for example like my lipstick that i have on today is a cool toned lipstick and it definitely suits my skin, it is harmonious with my skin, it makes my teeth look white, all that good stuff. But um, in the video, in like my outfit sample, <laughs> my lipstick is actually a very warm, almost true red. It leans a little bit tomato red and so it looks even more bold on me. And so that's a good way to subtly wear something that is bright and in your face. <laughs> You're welcome. So that's why I chose camel today, but of course you can always switch it for a black turtleneck if you wanted to look a little bit more chic or a little bit more elongated. Next is my pants. These are secondhand pants. So I got them at Plato's Closet, but they're Target pants, like I know they are. Small choices, right? Small choices, baby steps, everybody doing small things makes a big difference. These are skinny jeans, technically, but since they're black, I feel like they can kind of pass depending on what kind of office environment you're in. You can swap them for trousers if you needed something a little bit more formal. But the key here is that they're black, they're high-waisted, and they're cropped. We're trying to break up our lines and mimic the alternating pattern that is within your body naturally as a gamine and particularly for this video as a flamboyant gamine. My underlayer is fitted for one. Everything is really sleek so that way when I put on my oversized blazer it is more balancing and harmonious because everything underneath is the yin element. So everything is fitted underneath. We've got waist emphasis with my belt as well as color blocking to break up some of those 
longer lines. And overall, I think that's a really harmonious look. I think that putting on some jewelry also adds a little bit more detail and animation near the face. So definitely play with jewelry and things like that. So in all of these outfits, my makeup is the same, my jewelry is the same, and my hair is the same. For shoes, I'm wearing my Nisolo Mules. I think these shoes are just classy and professional, and I love the way that they pull together this outfit and bring another tan, beige camel-toned piece to the look. So we've got some alternating lines showing up like that. We've got all beige camel on top. We've got a nice long black line in the middle. And we've got whatever my skin tone is <laughs> at the ankles. And then we have nude shoes. So that's a really good look for the office. And I completed it with my tote bag. I tied a little scarf around the tote bag to add a little bit more detail to the look. And I think that it just pulls everything together perfectly. And of course, a tote bag is perfect for the office. It's perfect for carrying your lunch or snacks, a water bottle, you know, um, your laptop, notebooks. Just throw it all in. This particular tote bag is from Nisolo. It's in the color sand. It's their Lori tote. And I'm gonna have everything linked down below that I can find or that they still have. Let's talk about outfit number two. This one was a really interesting attempt for me. I think that it looks so cool. I love it. I don't really know for sure if these heels are appropriate for an office setting. You might wanna go with something lower, but the idea is wear heels, feel powerful feel strong. But it's the same cotton turtleneck. That's the brand, K-O-T-N. It's the same turtleneck as before. This time I am wearing it as the main piece up top, so I'm not covering it with any other pieces except for this scarf, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I put on my husband's suit pants. What do you guys think of this? I personally think it looks so good and so chic. I pulled them all the way up to my natural waist and belted them. And so now there's like this, a bit of a paper bag effect going on at the waist, which adds such a cool yin element to these men's pants. Like this is men's wear for crying out loud. These are my husband's pants. So it's cinched at the waist, but it actually helps break up my silhouette a little bit with the brown belt, of course, that big, chunky buckle in the middle and then um, the bunching there I think looks really cool because my top is so fitted and so it juxtaposes this fitted precise yin top with this color block and this oversized yang bottom. Then I just bring in the final element, the final yin moment and wear heels. So. I think this looks really cool. If I worked in an office, I would definitely wear this. I wanted to add some animation and a little bit of like length to the outfit because we have a lot of color blocking going on. And I really wanted to add something that would just kind of pull everything together and add a bit more interest to the outfit. Again, without going over the top with colors. So I put on this plaid scarf. I think it just pulls everything together and it raises the neckline as well if you were to wear it wrapped around. For a bag, I figured, you know, maybe you're running off to lunch somewhere and you just needed your smaller bag for this. And so I took my, normally I wear it crossbody and long, but I took it and I tied the strap of it <laughs> and wore it short to the side. So again, we're playing with these elements of short and long and short and long and short and long. So the scarf, is long, the bag is short and petite. I think that gives it kind of an effortless chic look. Like it doesn't look like I'm trying super hard to put together this outfit. It just looks like, you know, very simple, very basic pieces, but intentionally done to where you have those alternating elements going on in your silhouette. Tell me what you think about this look. I think it's really cool. And it could even be better if the pants were tapered a bit. And also if they were actually like, tailored, like, yeah. instantly, that, like, changes things. Yeah. To have my ankle be more, like, pronounced. Mm -hmm. But it is a mood to have it oversized. Gotta work with what I have, and I don't have any trousers that are, like, office trousers. I have my, like, pseudo trousers that are, um, oversized, like, wide leg. You know the ones from my last video? You mean you haven't watched that one yet? Don't worry. I got you. We take care of it.
All right, final outfit involves very typical flamboyant gamine elements. I think that they're done in a way that's really tasteful and really beautiful. And again, we're going to be toying with this idea of wearing oversized with fitted and long with short. So watch for these sorts of themes. This outfit here is very cute to me. I really loved it. I think it's a beautiful balance for flamboyant gamine. It's built on my husband's button down shirt and it's a huge shirt, man. It is way too big for me. I tried to just wear it as is and it was just so huge. And then I remembered one of you commenting down below one time saying that you wear a button down shirt with a sweater over the top. And I was like, oh, that is perfect for this video. I wanna try it. And so I did. And this is what it looks like and it does work so thank you for mentioning that i buttoned it all the way up to my neck and i think that it would look even better if it was uh, actually a shirt that was made for my body but it's not but here's the important elements we've got this collar that's huge and very sharp geometrics are going on in this collar and so to have this bright stark white tone right against the black creating this neckline that is very high and very bold is just so flamboyant I mean it's like the most basic flamboyant I mean look you could even do you know the sleeves are cropped you can see my wrists it has a nice color block at the wrist and that is very important for flamboyant gamine as well to have a tapered precise wrist which is a yin element and then to have the color blocks as well to create, bring some of that yang in there with the geometric cuts and lines. So that looks really beautiful on the top. I chose not to tuck this in because I really wanted it to have sort of a drop waist feel and I think that it looks really beautiful that way. Since the neckline is so precise and the cuffs are so precise, I felt as though um, we could just continue a nice long line going down. Kind of nod to some of the yang that's in my body personally. I have a lot of yang present in my body. So I wanted to kind of give attention to that by wearing a monochrome line. But of course it stops pretty abruptly at my ankles and ends in a way that is nude. To top it all off, I put on my bag. This is my Lori tote again, the same one from Nisolo from two looks ago. I just think that this adds another really cool geometric oversized piece to this look that goes with the big collar there and it kind of helps break up the line in the body a little bit because it is not black. It's almost like a pop of color if you will. I noticed that my sunglasses were in my bag and I put them on and then I just felt like Audrey Hepburn. Like at this moment I felt, felt like okay this is completely a flamboyant gamine look now because it is leaning to Queen Audrey. So that is the look, that is the final expression of office style <laughs> for me. Let me know what you guys think, of course, in the comments. If you liked these suggestions, definitely like this video and tell me which outfit was your favorite. I think that would be really fun to talk about. If you actually work in an office, like I mentioned before, I work from home. So would these outfits even work in an office? Let me know. I can't wait to hear your insight on that. And I hope that it helps you guys out. I have a couple of things that I wanted to tell you about really quick, because if you've made it to the end of this video, you might care about this. I have an Etsy shop, I'm a graphic designer and stationer and I've kind of revamped what I wanted to do with my Etsy shop recently. Two days ago I launched my spring collection which is a collection of floral themed greeting cards and if you're interested in checking that out I will put a link for you down below. To stay updated on all the things that I'm doing and all the wonderful life that I'm living definitely follow me on Instagram that would be very important. Um, I'm at Authentic Franny on Instagram. That's me. I always have fun over there. I post almost every day and I share in my stories often. So if you want a little bit of behind the scenes or like to see what people get up to when they're not filming YouTube videos and not on the screen here, definitely go follow me on Instagram. Like if you just come DM me or come comment on a photo, then I would love to know if you came from YouTube. So 
just say, hey, Franny, I'm from YouTube. I post outfits, makeup, everyday looks, things like that. So definitely go check that out. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. You have so much light and life in you. You have so much love to give. And I'm just grateful that you spend some time with little old me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.